Hi, for today's Fun Fact Friday, I wanna share with you some best practices for inserting links in Schoology updates. So you'll see I'm in my updates window in my test course, and I've gone ahead and typed out the update that I want to post. Um, so I'm gonna show you first the, the go-to method most use, which is using the attach link feature to the post. So I'm going to click right here. I see that hyperlink and a little window opens up for me where I'm going to embed my link. So I've got the window open that I wanna to link to right here. I made just a little Google doc. Um, just keep in mind that you can link to anything that has a URL. It doesn't have to be a Google doc, but that is a great place to start. So I've just highlighted my URL. I'm gonna use my keyboard commands of Control C or Apple C if I'm on a Mac, um, but I'm, or I can use the right click. So I've got my URL copied. I'm gonna go back here and I just, paste my URL there where it says the link or the thing I'm embedding. And then I'm gonna give it a title, which is, we're just gonna call this Fabulous Friday, okay? And I'm gonna hit attach. So that's gonna show up underneath my post. But I can also just make my text a rollover link if I want. So I'm just going to highlight the text that I wanna turn into a link. And then I'm gonna press this insert content. So again, whatever I have highlighted, is gonna become a hyperlink. And I just hit insert content, and then I choose link from the drop down. And once again, I'm gonna paste my link, but I don't actually have to change this because these are the words I want to become a link. And then I hit insert. Now that is a link, and I'll also have this link attached at the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit post. And now you can see what my update looks like. This is a link as well as this, so if I click on one of them, you'll see it opens up my window. And just keep in mind, again, you can turn anything with a URL into a link that way. And then just one other piece that I wanna share with you. Um, if you have an update that you need to post to multiple sections, um, it's best if you start at your home. So if you actually start where our school icon is, and then you click update, you can actually add all the courses that you want to receive the update down here. As long as it's the same content, it will work. So that's just another way to make your, your workflow a little simpler. Anyway, I hope that this information helps. Um, as always, if you have a request for a short video, please send it my way and I'm happy to make one and post it for all of us to use. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. Bye.